We came in the year 2019 was a record year for Spanish PV. We stole uh, 4,201 megawatts. This means practically we duplicate the total installed capacity in Spain in PV. That's a very good year, and we have the expectative in the future to continue the same line because we have now a government uh, with a clear willingness that uh, support the, the PV, support all the, the, the to support all the, all the tech, renewables technology, but particularly PV. And our target is, uh, okay, okay, we can see how yesterday in this chart, how the last year we stole this. These are utility scale plants only. At the target of our government is to achieve the 40 gigawatts in 2030, but we are convinced that we will overpass this uh, target of the 40 gigawatts, new gigawatts in the, in, in, in the, in the next decade. And more, uh, not only we install these 4,200 in uh, utility scale, we install two uh, 458 megawatts in uh, self-consumption projects. It's a nice perspective, particularly because all the projects were installed in uh, condition, not subsidy conditions. We can go to the next one. Uh, okay, then the COVID-19 arrived. And the impact of the COVID-19 in the, in the sector in the utility scale was uh, first one delay of the project as the United States has was says uh, with delays due to the social uh, distance measures and uh, uh, delays to in the permitting. But it's not a very big impact in the short term. Maybe some project that will be connected that in principle will be connected this year, will be connected next year in the first months of the next year, but not a serious impact. Two, in relation with employment, was not, was not very, very complicated situation in the, in the, in the spy, the situation in America. In PV, in PV sector at utility scale, no, no dramatic, there is no dramatic impact in the, from the side of the employment. But the, the impact of the COVID-19 could be more in the long term than in the short term. We can see in this chart the, the electricity, the spot market, the prices of the spot electricity market in Spain. In the brown line, brown line, you can see the price in the 2020, in the in March and April, during this emergency season that are the half than the normal prices in the 2019. In practical terms, the interesting, the interesting part of this, uh, of this situation is what's the same if we do a necessary an experiment and say, what will be happening in the future in the electricity market? When will achieve 60, 70% of the, the mix, electricity mix, will be delivered by renewable energy. That was, in fact, what happened. Because in these months, not for increase of the demand, if not due to the reason where the, uh, the, the sharp fall, oh, sorry, fall of the demand, sorry, not, not for to increase the supply, if not for a sharp uh, fall of the demand, we see the same, we achieve this. 60, 70, most of the time, the market running with 60, 70% of renewable energy. And then that produced this fall down of the prices. Interesting for the consumers, but also interesting for investors. In principle, our market now is a market that works uh, last months and now run without options. The most of the people wanted to go directly to the market as merchant projects or PPAs. But this picture of the this picture, picture of the market showed to us 
that we have one elephant in the room and we wanted to see, but we didn't uh, analyze very carefully the risk. And this elephant in the room is the inadequacy of the marginal system to fix the prices in our spot market in relation to the characteristic of our technologies. We can't to consider then a, margin, a, mar, a market that fixed price in relation of marginal cost, variable cost, could be a right system to assign price, prices for technologies that has not variable cost, has not marginal cost. We need a new system. The repercussion in this moment of this situation in the market is that it's some uh, banks that were ready in the past to finance projects to merchant now are not so happy to finance this project to merchant for this level of risk. And some of them, not all, but some of them, of them will not continue to financing projects to merchant, at minimum in the short term. And had an important repercussion in the PPA market too. The last year, 2019 in Spain, were signed four gigawatts of PPA. That was amazing for a new market in Spain. It was a new market in PPA, first time. And we signed it practically, agree with the figure that we see before, the half of the whole American market that is more developed in this area. But now the situation changed too. The off-takers doesn't want to sign the contract at the price that we, they were signed before between 38 euros to 42 euros megawatt hour. Now they consider to higher these prices, and then they wanted to sign under 30, and more problematic. They don't want to sign more PPAs for more of 10 years. They wanted to sign PPAs for two, three, maximum five years. That means less price, less time is not enough to found finance for the project PPH. Then we can see that the COVID for utility scale is short impact in the short term, but maybe a more important impact in the long term. What happened? You can see the next slide. What is that I explained? Uh, the impact, how, how this uh, impact will be big or not will depend how the investor will integrate this day's low electricity price in their investment decisions. Next slide, please. In the self-consumption, the situation is the opposite. An imp oh, important impact in the short term uh, during the COVID practically the total paralyzation of the activity for the social distance, but two, because in Spain we have no net metering, we don't have any kind of feeding for self-consumption, any kind of subsidy, we have a free market system. This means the most interesting projects are the, these projects where the consumer consume in the moment the electricity. This means small and medium enterprises, residential sector, residential, uh, sorry, uh, service sector. That are the sectors more affected, more bitted by the COVID uh, pandemic. That produce this paralyzation of the activity in the short term. But we hope that in the moment or at the same speed that the economy will be recovered the cell consumption sector will be recovered too. In fact, we are seeing that this recovery is producing more fast than we expected. In the, uh, we can, next slide, please. Then we are prepared one plan to the government. If in the case of the, of the utility scale, our problems are delays in the permit printing and not a great sign price signal system for the projects and then the uh, answer is very clear we need to speed the planning process we are preparing one proposal to the government to cut the half the timing 
of the permitting in Spain, and the government accepted uh, many of our measures, and they will be approved very quickly. At the same time, we are asking for oceans, oxygen as soon as possible, for to leave that the people that wanted to look for more safety in the retribution can go and for both merchant or PPA. And at the same time, how now, uh, the, there are uh, many funds to recover the general economy. We wanted that, our companies, we can have this possibility to ask to do to this, this financing in good terms. With this measure, we consider and that are well, well perceived by the government, and I repeat, will be implemented very quickly. I hope that we will overpass this situation at utility scale level. Next. In the case of SEFCOM Samsung, we, we feel comfortable with a free market system, but we have a special situation that is our customer are not so good. Then uh, we are asking for some temporary tax advantage, uh, particularly asking for accelerating the, the possibility that the small and medium enterprise that invest in uh, cell consumption have the possibility to have a accelerated depreciation of this investment to do more attractive investment, but temporarily, only one year, two years, we'll see. We depend with the timing that we consider that will be considered that the Spanish economy will continue a special period of recovery. But particularly here too, we wanted a speeding of the licensing process in the way that the people that is interested to have the possibility to invest as soon as possible. One important part too, in Spain, we have a variable, a fixed part of the electricity bill that is uh, big in relation to the most of the countries, 40%, and we want to, to, to do a reduction of this fixed part in the way to give a sign to the, to the to, to do more interesting for the consumer, consumers to invest in cell consumption or in energy efficiency. <coughs> and two, the organization of the public information campaigns from the government, try, they were trying to spread idea of the cell consumption. These are our ideas and the most of them will be adopted by the government. We'll have more problems with the tax temporary fiscal advantage because everybody is asking in this moment to the government measure of this kind. But it is important that our message is that the uh, economy is not more an environmental question, it's an economical question. We can, we can introduce investment, private investment, without to ask for any Europe from the government, in the market, we can create more employments. Or in our sector, the last year, and give employ to 49 people, 49,000 people in Spain. And then we can continue growing. It, the, in, the increasing of the employment the last year in Spain was the 50% in our sector. And we can continue growing the employ in our sector if we did the th things in the right way. And we implement this measure as soon as possible to overpass this situation. Thank you very much.